What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This game is making me play it more. Okay, there's a whole epilogue that we have to do with John Marston instead of Arthur Morgan. I've been playing this whole entire game as Arthur Morgan, and now Arthur is gone. And I'm moving on with John. I love John, though. Not hating on John. But I've been playing this entire game as Arthur, and I just saw him die. And now I got to keep going. <laughs> I got to live my little farm life, my normal life, quote unquote, as John. Anyways, I did want to see, does he have the journal? Oh, he does. What? Is it different? Blow up a bridge with Marston either to stop the army killing us quite so easily when we attempt to rob this last train or because we want to encourage Uncle Sam to send another train full of payroll for us to rob. The whole thing seems even more ludicrous and moth-eaten when I write it down. Dutch is now acting crazy and I'm acting crazy back. I'm facing death and acting foolish. I hope Marston uses his brain. The time for heroics and loyalty to people is over. The time is for acting right and saving the innocent, not the guilty. I can't believe he actually got Arthur's journal. Like, where did he even get it? Did he go back for Arthur's body? Being back in this country made me dig up Arthur's old journey journal again. What? Dig it up? Where did you find it? Odd few years wandering. Now back here, this country that we ran to when things went crazy all those years ago. My mind is full of ghosts. Been a tough few years. Jack don't like me and Abigail cannot stand me. Or is it the reverse? So they did leave for a while. Killed a fella because he looked at me funny. Abigail wants me to settle down. To what? Everything I've tried has gone wrong for so long now. And now I'm back in old country. Well, I guess the north didn't turn out so good. So they did go north. Treasure maps? What? So now I'm a farmhand. Until I lose my temper again, I guess. Working at a place called Pronghorn Ranch. They seem to like me because I'm big and nasty and they surely ain't. And some local tough guys seem to know they ain't. Well, I guess Abigail can't have everything. But she won't be able to deny I've at least got a normal job. Yeah, you did that. Alright. It's interesting that he still has Arthur's journal. Or he found it somewhere. I'd love to know... How and where? But anyways, let's keep going. There's a mission right here. We can do some of the older missions too that we left off with. No, no. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Oh, he messed up. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? <laughs> extra hard. Hey. Hey. Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here. Something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Uh-oh. Already lying. Already caught in the lie. This way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the morning, wagon sir. up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey. Is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't uh -oh. want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. <laughs> I like this guy, Abe. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. Get 
I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I'm gonna be the one to say it. Screw it. Abigail has aged backwards. This lady has aged beautifully. Can we be honest? <laughs> Can we be honest? <laughs> I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. I bet. Ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good Lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, oh. just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things. Abe's gonna remember that. <laughs> well, I feel a whole it's a telltale game. Having a ranch hand like you around, that is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Here's the cows. Am I gonna milk a cow? Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Am I really going to do this? Uh oh. 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 Oh my god. Lord. Almost got a pail full. Okay. Well, that's one pail. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Abe, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're going to make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all got to earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Is this working extra hard? That's a lot. Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Ew. I'm really doing this. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Flashes. Ew. Hold on a moment. 
Jack is awesome. Look at this horse shit. <laughs> Literal. You almost got me. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of jealous right now. Like John's got a good. I mean, you got Abigail. Hey, hold on. I kind of got a crush. Like. Think your mother's hiding somewhere, laughing at us? Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. <laughs> I don't think Jack likes that name. Anything else, sir? Riveting gameplay right now. Gotta love it. Whoa! Oh, I thought it was charging at me. That was a little nerve wracking. A little frightening. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Aw. Well, that's adorable. I can't be upset at that. I'll put some coffee on. I made a big three dollars. Wow. I'm gonna go over here. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Uh, good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, Runaway horse has been to some of our problems, and I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh. Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Is it a secret affair? 
Is he cheating on his wife? You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Boy, yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Whoa, none of that. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Relax. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <laughs> what? Oh, calm down. Onion on their oats? He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. There's a boy. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. We're okay. It's all right. All right, let's go. Let it all out of Guess we just need to run around for a while. Make sure we don't hurt the horse in the process. Show me then. Oh, not too fast though. Not too fast. This is kind of a bad area to be running. Everything you got. Come on. Yeah, too many trees over here. Let's go down. Yeah, there should be a pathway over here. Yeah, Jeremiah. Yeah, there's a trail. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Let's get a lather up. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? Easy. All right, let's see if Duncan can ride him now. All right, he's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there, go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. Aw, that's so cool. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, They'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. One thing at a time. One thing at I a think time. You two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. This is making me dizzy. I'm gonna stop moving. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. You, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. 
Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Uh-oh. I gotta do this? Uh-huh. Okay, I found the legs. Got him. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Hold them, Milton. There. There. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton... Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Oh. Okay. So your your husband's out there playing around and now you out here playing around too. At the house? Baby girl, at the house? With the farm hands? How many times do I gotta tell people don't shit where you sleep? Not at the house. At least he goes into town and does it. Jeez, lady. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? been kind of withdrawn quiet you know sure take him out please come on boy let's go for a walk come on Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. There you go. How you doing? Aw. Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident. Okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. 
Yeah, we don't want Jack to go too fast. <laughs> if he gets bucked off the horse, he's gonna be he gonna be a little upset. Maybe a little faster. Faster, come on. Faster? Yeah. All right, we'll stay here because I feel like if I stay faster, he's going to get bucked off. I don't want that to happen. This is comforting. This is nice. I think Jack always liked Arthur, though. John hasn't really been a good dad. This ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. I'm glad he's having fun. That's good. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. You want to race? Oh, whoa, whoa. Why am I not? Okay. It wasn't following him for a minute there. Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? Ooh. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go. Okay. I kind of don't want to beat him. I want to let him win so he feels good about himself. Aww. It feels like I'm flying. That's cute. <laughs> hey, come back here. Oops. Catch me. Oh, accidentally slowed down. Oh, man. It must have been that rock. Dang. I'm pretty bad at this. He's doing great. He won! Dang! Let's go. I beat you! I beat you! I well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, you're riding. It's gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Oh, okay. The confidence, I love it. That's what we need to see. to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Three whole dollars. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was... Needing. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I scared him. Oh my God! Look at him. I told you to tidy up. I was getting to that, sir. Get to it quick. I 
Man got scared. Look at him. He's so scared. He's standing and stuck on a on a chair. Okay. I was wondering if I could uh wait a second. Maybe I gotta go out. I'm gonna leave here real quick. Camp. And then we're gonna head over to Hamish. Do that mission with him. Is that the wolf man again? God dang it. There he is. Get him, get him, get him. Slow up, you crazy man. Get him, get him, get him. He doesn't have a wolf this time. Oh, I don't have anything to hog time with. What the heck? Yo, I'm actually. I'm actually keeping up with him. Where's he going? Oh, does he live over here? John. Hey, yo. Oh. Hey, nice dogs. Big dogs. Hey! No! Bro, chill, chill, chill. I don't have anything. All I got is a knife. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Where's my freaking horse? Come here. Ah! Bro, I'm so dead. I'm so... Go, 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 I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Let's go. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh my god. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I didn't even know I didn't have any guns. I'm so dead, dude. I'm screwed. Die. You beast. Holy crap. I totally forgot I didn't have any guns. I didn't think he was going to stick two big wolves on me. Wasn't ready for that. Right, girl. But you know what? We're going to go back. Does he still have Arthur's hat? Uh, I don't even see where I can put his hat back on. Slower. Let's see if we can talk to him now. He's not in here. I mean, I feel bad for killing his wolf friends, but it was it was me or them, y'all. It was me or them. Okay. Let's go, girl. I'll get back on my horse. I got cut up. I'm not even really making enough money to really do anything. I'm just going to go do this quest or mission really fast, though. I'm so used to playing as Arthur and having my whole arsenal of weapons that when I switched to John, I had no idea. I forgot that he doesn't have anything. He's just trying to live his like normal life with no guns or anything which i mean is fine that's completely fine but you're doing well hang in there girl doing okay girl all right it's raining something fierce too
I can't be the only one that happened to. When you guys played this game, did that happen to you? Easy now. I wonder how this encounter is going to be now that I'm John and not Arthur. Hello, sir. And who might you be? A caller. John Marston. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse. You became friends? Oh, yeah. Arthur. Yeah. How is he? Uh, sorry to say, he passed soon after that. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I read about you in his journal. Been calling in on folks. Well, I'm grateful. I'm one of them. Uh, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. <laughs> progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Arthur caught that. Aw. Huh. Did he? And he killed that with his hands. That's quite something. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that. Whoa, hole. that thing is huge. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Pursue with what? Kill the boar I don't got. Oh. Whoa, I lied. Like cast iron. Oh, I can't whistle for my horse right now. Dang, oh, it ate bullets. Shit. You saw that? It ate every single bullet that I shot at it. That was insane. Where's he gone? Oh, this way. I got the horses. Come on. Okay, Missy. I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. Traps go this way. Come on. And fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Easy. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What do we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view. Easy now. All right, let's see what's up here. Ah, we got some over here. What's that? Can't be good. Watch that thing pop out of nowhere. Goring wolves too. Goring them. Damn it.
Where is he? Jesus, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Is he okay? Oh, Hamish. <laughs> oh. You got thrown and a bastard all got me. <sighs> Take a bill for me, would you? He's what? A good horse. No. <laughs> I always wanted that horse, though. He's strong. <laughs> He's dying. <gasps> Hamish. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that was so close. We got him, old man. Jeez Louise. That thing is a... What the heck? It's like a dinosaur. <laughs> this is a prehistoric boar. Like, let me tell you. Guess I'm taking Buell. There, there. Easy. Calm yourself. Easy there. Easy now. Come on, Buell. Let's go. Yeah. I've always wanted this horse, so I'm not, I'm really surprised that we got him. Acri here is a silly. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh my, our friend. Hello? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash. <laughs> alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could, easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. I don't want to fight you guys, though, but okay. Come on. Sure. <laughs> you really walloped him. These guys are clowns. I'm fine. Come on. Ooh, look Ooh. there. I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above. Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me again. Right here. Right here. Ooh. Nice. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. <laughs> oh. I think he's done for. All this for that girl over there? There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. How about no? no. Sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? Nope. Oh. <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My turn. <sighs> the breathing. Ooh. Enough, gentlemen. Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive. Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen. Good luck to you. <laughs> Whatever got into your head? I just did that and left. I'm dead. <laughs> what a quest. Let's get you back to your room. Come on. That's hilarious. Okay, if you're wondering, I stabled the other horse. And I'm just rocking with the one that John has.
All right, we're going to the Albert Mason mission now. Hey, miss. You literally can't do anything right now, is John, while you're working at the ranch, unfortunately. Nice, Finny. Horse bonding, yay. You'll be okay. Good girl. He's not too far away. He should be right over here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I got to go down. Hang in there, girl. Is he above? Might be. Whoa there! There he is. Haven't seen you in a while. Majestic. Oh, hello. May I help you? I think I might be able to help you. My name's John Marston. I heard about your work through an old friend of mine, Arthur Morgan. He passed some time ago. Oh, yes, of course I remember. Arthur, fine fellow. What a shame. Well, that is very kind of you, Mr. Marston. A little assistance here would certainly be appreciated. I've been here before. Have you? Yeah. Funny how things turn out. Ain't never how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to Arthur. I'd be so poor creature's bad meal by now many times over if it weren't for him. Yeah, yeah, true. So I believe, but move back from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there. there. They're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! <laughs> Ah, uh, damn! Is he dead? You all right? No. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. <laughs> Why would he do that? Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know... I really did get some, some amazing pictures, mostly thanks to Arthur. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. <laughs> well, it was nice to see him off. You're a good girl now. All right. Well, are we close to home? Oof. It's pretty far. But yeah, definitely my game of the year. It's so great to finally play all of these games that you guys have already experienced. And here I am playing them for the first time completely through. I can't believe there was a time period where I was just like putting this game down. <laughs> I literally put this game down for like, like two or three times, which is crazy to think about. Now here I am putting what 70 plus hours into the game about to finish the epilogue. Mostly thanks to you guys. I mean, I really do feel like YouTube helps me be consistent with video games if that makes sense like seeing you guys get excited for each episode coming in giving me tips and advice telling me um what i can improve on or work on that's a big part of like my excitement and joy of like playing games like for me it's hard to play a game by myself now because i'm like ah, i wish i could like share my experience with someone you know I think a lot of content creators, when you get into it, you feel that way. Uh, 
That looks bad. That looks like the serial killer thing. Yeah, I probably would have never have beaten this game if it wasn't for me making content on the game. What's this guy doing? Please don't delete me any further. I'm just a homesteader Jeez, looking for a patch. You're gonna get it now. Oh God. Oh Ooh. God. Oh, don't shoot him. Okay, he's gone. We got honor for it. I was right by the ranch too. Ranch not too far away. Now I haven't played God of War yet, uh, 2018. But that was the game that ended up beating this game at the time. And I'm kind of surprised, honestly. I haven't played it yet, so I don't have like full knowledge on why it beat it. But from what I see in this game, I don't know what was going on that year with the game awards. But, you know, my thing about it is, and I tell everybody this, the game awards is only one stupid show you know what i mean like it, like literally it's only one award show and like it doesn't really matter like the game awards isn't why companies make games they make games for profit okay <laughs> they could care less about getting a game of the year um from jeff jeff Keeley and the in the gang right like they, they don't care i mean is it nice to be um, notice for your hard work. Yeah, sure. Why not? And the game awards does help with that, but developers and publishers, they don't care about the game awards. They care about their games selling. And this game sold a lot. I do feel like there are flaws oh, to the game, though. Man, you back? Yeah, I'm back. Where was he? Uh oh. Out. You know? No, not exactly. I don't. Well, don't worry about it too long. Just taking care of some old business a little. All right. I didn't know I was gonna get in trouble. Okay. For being out. But, uh, we're back now. I don't want to get in trouble for that. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. But I guess I don't believe a word of it. Oh. This guy's I a detective. To take a man at his word. And also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Now, yep. there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in.
Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Oh, I see. Now the next rail. <sighs> That's it. Good. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. What the heck's happening? Come on, son. Quick as you can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. I know Milton. how it feels. Mr. Milton, Come Angus on. is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, oh! Why would you do that? Uh oh. That can't be good. That can't be good! Hey, can we shut up and help Come me here? On. Let's talk. Huh. Oh, that could be good. Ouch. What in the no. world? Oh. Don't. I gotta build that. Jeez. Damn it. Oh my God, this bull is everywhere. No, sir. No, sir. No, you don't. No. What the heck is this section? Great. Now, where are you going? How am I going to calm this thing down? You don't look like you're going to wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. There, 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 there. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy, easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. This way. Got Jeez. it, Mr. Dickens? Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. Good. There he is. Your head. That's not good. Later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. <laughs> Gotta love doing this honest work. Does he like dead bodies on his property? That sounds like Micah. Come on, mister. Tell your friend, Mr. Geddes, he's going to sell this place. Oh, no. The only thing he needs to decide is what he... <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. 
how a fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll kick his head in, boss. Get that fella. Oh, okay. He sounded like Micah, like he had the same like oh boy. They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's cause you're stupid. Yeah. Getty spends on women, saves on hands. <laughs> Oh, he's licking yeah. you, boss. Mr. Milton, when was the last time you had a bath? Does that matter? When you're getting beat up? <laughs> like you are getting the dog shit beat out of you, boy. Why are you worried about if I'm taking a bath or not? Get off that man. Get off him. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Stop. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. That's not going to be good. Boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Why did Thank Abigail you, come outside? Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will you? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. What is she talking about? That's what they hired me for. I gotta be a storybook hero here. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Hello, mister. Uh-oh. All right. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. What happened? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm good. You. It must not be good. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh! They got Dickens over by the stick. What the? It's over. It's folly. You boys are over. Uh-uh. Who's this? New hand. Yep, 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 yep. You already know. Y'all know how I do. Night, night. Night, night. Where's Gaddy's 
Come on. Hmm. Need to the stomach. Like I said, night night. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. They've killed Mr. Tobert. What? And they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Oh, it's time. Real good to us. We I What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to have guns until now. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Ooh. Okay. Let me get the shotgun. What do I got? The shells? Let's ride. He's got Arthur's hat on too. Ready to go. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. Oh, they're this close to us? That's the place up ahead. That's pretty close. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. been coming up to pronghorn i thought i'd come down here you're all so tough come have a word with me you here to cut a deal you're too late partner i'm here for our cattle and to teach some manners to all of you <laughs> you seen how many men we got i don't care <laughs> Think I care about how many men you got? Guess we're shooting then. They come for the cattle. Oh boy. Yeah, Jim, you can shoot. I ain't got time to look out for you, kid. Look out, Tom! Let me deal with this! Where is he? What the heck? Hey, look! They're in the barn! Where the hell did you learn that? Don't worry about it. Of course I am. I got lucky there. Look out! More of them! Oh, there's horses. Um. 
Oh, this is John's Cattleman Revolver. That's dope. you done you're gonna pay all right you and your wife that's a hello who shot my feet up i got this you boys take cattle see you back there son you ain't so talky now are you where's he at all it takes is one and done boy oh Backwoods, Saka, no good, trash. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, it's time. Don't let me get up. It's over. It's over. Okay. Okay. He ain't too bad. He ain't too bad. Mm. Weak. Come on. Come on. Okay, you got a nice little combo going. Mm. Ooh, okay. The uppercut, I like it. Nope. I love that you can counter, man. That's my favorite part. Get that out of here. Mm. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheet dip, get the stink of you off of her. Farmhand! What the heck does Abigail have anything to do with any of that, bro? It's so weird when a guy like that does like brings a woman into it. Like, what's the point in that? Like, why are you being weird, bro? This, this is a fight between me and you. How are you fighting a grown man one on one and you bringing a woman into it? Hey, come on. Let's really talk. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. You got the old John back, guys. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. Also, I wanted to bring up that pose when he had the sawed-off shotgun and he he had he was looking at the guy like that. Isn't that the cover of Red Dead Redemption One? Hold on, let me look it up. Let me look it up. That's crazy. That is the cover of Red Dead Redemption One. <laughs> That is so cool, man, that they put that in there like that. I, I caught that instantly. Like, I didn't say it right there, but I caught that instantly. Oh, need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be a service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Right.
Honestly, if you don't want a man like John Marston, like if you're so disgusted just do one thing and what he does, don't marry him. Two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Like, didn't we already talk about an Arthur's story that you can't change someone? You can't. So either you accept John for who he is or you dip. It's as simple as that. I love Abigail, but I'm just being honest. Like, it's just common sense, girl. Like, I'm sorry. You can't change someone. He's already been brought into this lifestyle. He loves this lifestyle. He's never going to stop doing it. And here you are trying to change him. And all you're getting is friction. Because he's just slowly going to go back into that lifestyle. There's just no getting away from it. Sorry, girl. I mean, I feel bad for her, but at the same time, it's like you picked this. You chose this. You can't change this man. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe... We could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in... Your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the. Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Homegirl said, go pick up my Amazon packages. Of course. Girl, you better not be shopping on Shein. <laughs> it's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Ma? was wrong about that. Here. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out.
You got to give it to John, though, at least. He's not being a outlaw. I mean, yeah, he's got to be the man with the big old gun, but he's actually helping people. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Uh oh. Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Who said that? And were they talking to me? All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. He doesn't sound like he's having fun. Hi, I'm here to- Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Oh, no. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. He knew who John was. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. This is about to turn out really bad. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of Why here. Why did she do that? Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I oh, sure. man. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Why did she okay, put that pa. in her, his name? Or she said that she did. Yeah. That was not smart. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. This is no bueno. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Oh, no. Oh, I'm looking, y'all. I'm looking. I'm getting some funny looks. Uh oh. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Yep, okay. yep, yep. Speed up, speed up. Yeah. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No, no. Keep driving. Speed Just up. A bit faster now. Faster. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Master, please. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Okay, well. Pull your reins in. Oh, boy. Oh, Somebody boy. Just keep driving. 
Oh man. Oh, this ain't good. That guy's back there. He's back there, guys. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. Oh man. He's still I coming. The horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. You sure you don't want to drive, John? Have you seen something? You worry about what's in front. Oh. Of what? Nothing. Just keep driving. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Oh. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pop. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. They got their guns oh, out. Aw. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now. We might have to dip. Uh, come on. Quick, now. Oh, this is not good. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. Oh, no. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. Oh man. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Whoa! Crap. That's not good. Jack's not going to be happy about that. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Dang. Come on. Get up. Can we get home quicker, please? Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. Aw, oh, man. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, Things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. This is terrible. He's not taking this well at all. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Peacher's Hope. That's right. Peacher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I could see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... <laughs> yeah. That kind of life might suit us. If we make it, it wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Oh. This is no good. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. She's not going to be happy. How is the... Oh! 
What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Well, why'd you tell him you left it in his name? Girl, we gotta think. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. Oh, no. Someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Oh, no. This could be good or bad. I'm hoping it's good. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. And you had a sign for your mail back then, too. Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Oh. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Oh, this man was reading periods as stop. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean stop? <laughs> you know, that's kind of funny that Jack likes to read books because you remember when he was younger, he didn't want to read the books. He thought it was so hard to do it. He was like, this is too hard. I don't want to read no books. Now all he does is read books. That's amazing. I just thought about that right now. Like the little things, it's so amazing. Abigail. Oh no. Did she leave? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen. I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior. Yeah. Your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. That's smart. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Are you guys seeing the similarities between him and Arthur? Arthur went through something uh, similar with Mary. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. 
I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Man. This is unfortunate. We can't even go meet Sadie right now because we got to work. But the little things that this game just incorporates, like that thing with Jack about him reading, you wouldn't have even noticed that if you didn't interact with the people in camp. Like you could totally miss that. That was, and it was such a like, there was a small window. There was one point, I think it was like in chapter two or three, where you could encounter that. It's just crazy how they just kind of like put things together. save up those three dollars a day a few months i hope abigail's all right but that's her fool hey you know i was wrong about you turned into a fine worker jim milton Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. My man's got a tool belt now. Look at him. And he's changing his clothes every day. I like that. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, yeah. my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. 
You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Let's go. Imagine, imagine going to your boss and being like, hey, can you put in a good word so I can get a house? Like, where have we come? Where? Have, what? Imagine hard work paying off. Let's go. We in the outfit outfit. It's time. And he's got his rifle on the on his back. This is when a man was born. All right. So we can actually go hang out with Sadie. Sadie's still around? That's interesting. Hey. Some of this music I might have to mute. Sit, just settle down. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? It's a knee slapper.
Wow. My horse is not looking good right now. We made it though. Problem? You do you good. want one? I don't want no I don't want any problems. We are good. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself who this little girl thinks she telling anything to. Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Bubba. <laughs> Ooh. Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You. You killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking yeah. to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? Uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Huh. Well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Oh, I wonder if it's that one guy that we help, that stranger. I know. <laughs> That'd be funny. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. What's up with their horse? I love shots like this. Welcome to Strawberry. But you guys remember I picked up some random guy from New York as a stranger mission. It was way in the beginning of the game. And I dropped him off here. I was on the way to Strawberry. Right. See what you can find. Like I said, fellow's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker, bald, forty-five. Okay. You hit him that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Okay. You seen a? You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about forty-five? No, sir. We get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's 
resort town, you see. Resort? Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. I'm looking for a fella. A uh, New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. I've heard. Right in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Appreciate it. I mean, that does make sense. You, uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. <laughs> All right, then. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Come on, jump on! Come on, lady. Ooh, we love that. After him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Where'd he go? This way? Oh, there he is. He went right. I'm pretty sure that's the guy. It's been so long, but it looks like him. Whoa. Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. Okay. She's going to flank him, probably. Sounds like a Sadie move. Leave me alone. We just yep, there she is. You're back. Almost at him. Come on. Yeah, almost. Monsters. Monsters. Yeah, scatter. <laughs> Look out! Ah! You ain't spooked, are you? There you go. I'm an innocent man. My other horse would have bucked me off. Leave me alone! For somebody from New York, he's riding that horse pretty good. This is persecution. Never mind. What you caught there? I don't deserve this treatment. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She, hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you.
All right, let's go to the bank. That is over here. We're no longer wanted dead or alive. That was a pretty fun mission. We'll have to hang out with Sadie more. It's nice to see Sadie. It's also nice to see things come full circle. Like if you've been paying attention this whole entire playthrough, they're just kind of feeding us little tidbits of what's been going on. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like characters that you wouldn't even think they would just like bring up again. I'm pretty sure that was the guy in the beginning, but I don't know. It, it sounded like him. It looked like him. This is a really cool epilogue. Definitely better than the original game. You know, I never did play Red Dead Revolver. I always wanted to play that game. Now, I know that game is in its own universe compared to the Red Dead Redemption games, but they do mention um, Red. What was his name? Like Red Harlow or something like that. The protagonist in that game, he's like a legend in this game. So they talk about some of his stories that happened in that game, but he's he doesn't show up in this game or anything like that. It doesn't pop in. What the heck is that? Okay. Uh, that's a little scary. Hello? All right, then. Was that the oh Native Americans? God. Did they do that? Like. All right. Well, what a welcome into Blackwater. Yay. The Skinner brothers. The Skinner brothers are a group of outcasts that have become one of the most notorious gangs around. These men prefer to roam the region of tall trees causing havoc rather than finding a fixed hideout. They revel in brutally attacking and killing people with each murder being more vicious than the last. The, the, this diverse group does not favor one type of weapon. They can be found using anything from Apache bows and Mexican knives to good American shotguns. All right, well, I'm not going to mess with them. And the detail that went into this part, like they didn't need to do that, but they did. Oh, yes, this looks very familiar. This is our first time being in Blackwater in forever. Oh my God. This looks very, oh my God. The, the nostalgia is hitting me. The nostalgia is hitting me. Wow. I remember you could go into one of these buildings. Was it this building? There was like a barber shop or something. No, it's this hotel. You could go into this hotel in the original game and like mess around in the online mode. Dude, this is crazy. I remember me and my friends would come in into Blackwater and we just like hold this place down. We'd be just like posted up in the windows and stuff like that. And like anybody that came in, we just shoot them like immediately. We didn't care if it was a new player or not. We're just like, nope, this is our town. Like <laughs> we were playing. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? You could also go up uh, up to the rooftops too. Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. 
So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you? John is not smart, man. <laughs> Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Wow. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Are you telling me I don't need to make three times the mortgage? Are you telling me Hola. that y'all don't have to run my credit? Are you telling me? What's with you then? What is the matter? I just had to. Whoa, 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 Gavin. Whoa, whoa, is that guy still around? The Gavin guy? Where'd he go? Gavin. Oh my god, he's still looking for Gavin years later. Help me. There's no way. Gavin. This dude is crazy. Gav? Oh my god. I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Hey, howdy, sir. Howdy, mister. I'm I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin. For Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh yeah. A few years. You bloody is. <laughs> I can't um I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Can you believe that? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life. My looking. Son. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Kevin. Good luck. Oh. How do you do? I am oh, so worried. Gavin. Gav. Gav. Uh, Gav. Where are you? Please tell me he finds Gavin eventually. Where are you? I don't know, man, but you need to get some help. Like, what did that guy mean to you? You're a good filly. If here you are, years later, still looking for him. This is really worrying me. Gavin! All right, then. Are you telling me I don't have to put a down payment on the house? Man just walked up and said, hey, can I get a house? Can I get a loan? The bank said, yeah. You know my cousin? Heck yeah, sure. That's crazy. Like, man, it sucked living in times like these, but some of the things, some of the things, I'm like, man. <laughs> We've got you now, you piece uh -oh. of shit. Uh-oh. I want his skill. Get him. You wouldn't want us to get a hold of you, boy. Time to friend. die. You're okay. You're okay. You'll be a son of the cold earth soon. Whoa. This is like the Murphy guys. I shot that horse by accident. God dang it. 
I don't want to be going around killing people. They made me. Guys, I literally spent $60 on personal care items the other day. Let's go, girl. Can you believe that? And this man walked up to the bank and said, can I get a loan? <laughs> uh... Oh, you, this place does suck. He wasn't wrong. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Oh! Oh! oh. I guess I lost honor for that, but hey, I kind of wanted to do that. <laughs> they pulled up, bro. I know, I know. I shouldn't have did that, but I want to do it. It's just, I wanted to shoot somebody. It's been a while. A while meaning like two or three minutes. <laughs> Okay, but that place looks really bad. It looks a lot better in RDR1. There's actually like some grass and stuff over there. The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now you sure about buying this place? It's really run down and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. This man doesn't even know how much he's got to pay a month. Or in general. God. Mm -hmm. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Each week? Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> yes, sure. sir. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. This is what we all dream of, boys. Home ownership. Well... Uncle? Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's uh, slow and painful. This man's been talking about this forever. Evidently. Well, 
Have a little pity, will you? The mango. Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Let's go, Lumbago. Come on, then. Follow me. Where are we headed? West. West? Oh, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... I'll do. A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Called oh, on a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Hey, Uncle's smart. Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. He wasn't wrong. You can't run from the bank. <laughs> you can run from a lot of things, but the bank and the IRS is not one. Neither one of the two. Look at this place. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. This fool. He's that friend that you have. <laughs> that friend when you're like, I'm about to go to the store. They're like, oh yeah, me too. <laughs> Or can you bring me something back? Heck no, I'm going to the store. $405. Yeah, it's me again. A big old 405. Lovely. That's a girl. Dang, my horse was ashy. You saw that? I put some lotion on her, on him. On her, sorry. And. Uh, what's going on? You good? What happened? What the heck is uncle doing in here? Working hard. <coughs> It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I'll get a relapse. It's oh my goodness! Serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof. I'll never quite outrun my sins. 
You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles, Why? Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith Charles? Is alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Like my good friend Charles, the native? Nuh uh. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Of course. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Looks different. Looks bigger? Or is that just me? Alright, we're gonna, um... Can I make a pit stop to the barber? We kinda need it. Okay, Missy. Definitely looks busier. You own something! I don't want him. I don't want him to be like naked face. Mighty fine. Yeah, he definitely needed so. to like do something with that. Looks a lot better. What do we have for hair here? Is that how his hair normally is? I'm gonna keep it. We can do up all the latest trends. I wish it was longer, to be honest. Please tell your friends about us. Don't watch it for a day. I was tired of looking like James Harden, though. Okay. <laughs> that boss was a day late. For you. Hey, partner, you seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure, I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? I had about yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. I think he's he's fighting tonight over at Saint Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Fighting tonight. All right, girl. <laughs> Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Yeah. 
guess that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries. They still love a surprise, <laughs> but they hate a massacre, and you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. But he's a boxer now? John? You're... You're... I'm alive. Aww. So are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Throwing sure. fights? And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to. He just said, ah. On who? On myself to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Of course. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle. What if he loses, though? Nah, uh, Charles knows how to fight. And a not so noble savage on my left. A ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. Injun? The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no force. Is he throwing no fights or like winning fights? Child. Everything else goes. Is he just said you unbeatable? Knockout, you win by retirement. Or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Okay. Now he was lying. He ain't throwing fights. Oh. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? What's he Ooh, doing? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. Are we winning money today, boys? What the yeah. Heck? Knock him. <laughs> you know I gotta bet on my boy. You know I gotta bet on my boy. That's what I'm saying. Come on, Lone Wolf. Natives always winning. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Make my months, but you also make some fellas. Mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. Well, we out. Just made the bed I said so you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you That's not like years. Arthur. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. I got 40 bucks. That's pretty good. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Aw, he did. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. Charles was so loyal to Arthur. I wanted to be. A pretty hillside facing the evening sun. Aww. He gave me a satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm bit of a draftsman myself nowadays he was a good man as much as any of us could be getting sick like that has to rattle a fella rattle him or give him some kind of understanding understanding for sure his life was really all about yeah 
That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Maybe no way. That's not good. In custody. Never said a word. Oh, he uh, never said a word. Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Wow. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those... Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh no! I've been here an hour. Hey. Oh crap. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left. I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> oh, we're shooting in San Denis. Oh. You couldn't have. Man, fight. It's never just one fight. Evidently! What are those guns they have? Uh oh. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey -ya! Oh man, I gotta shoot cops. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge, going out of town. Best. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Oh, they're coming. Santa Nia ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. Oh, no. They take us in. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? Not yet, no. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate... San Denis. Me too. Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, John Charles. <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Well, that wrapped up a lot of stuff that we were curious about. The thing is, what happened to Tilly? Because Tilly was alive. Karen was alive last time I checked. Um, Who else? Mary Beth left, right? I think we got confirmation of that. And then Pearson. What happened to Pearson? Wonder where he went off to. I wonder if we're gonna find like Mary Beth. Oh, I can hang out with Sadie again. Oh, I wanted to craft. Oh, well. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. 
That's the goddamn <laughs> truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You Boys. got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. <laughs> I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. No way. We good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Oh, no. <gasps> uh... The whole house. It's gone. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. I love the feather earring he has. That's amazing. Let's see what I can craft. I don't think I really have anything. No. I don't want to see any of this sheet metal here when I'm back. You won't. Don't see me here neither. Because I will have worked myself into the ground. Here's hoping. Oh, yeah, sure. You're a good filly. Yeah, I need to feed my horse. I know. Where is Sadie? Is she in town? Yeah, she is. All right. Well, let me go to the general store real quick. Which is right here. This makes me appreciate this house even more because... It looks so good in the first game. It's huge too. It's a big cabin. Christ, man. What'd you get yourself into? God. What a safe place to put your house next to. This is like living in Chicago or Detroit. Play. <laughs> I'm from Detroit. I know Cleveland even. gonna go to Sadie just yet. I want to get some food. Watch out. God, the nostalgia is crazy here. Excuse me. Okay, move. Step right in. Okay, look through this, but you better be serious. 
Horse care, yay. I don't have much money, but... I mean, horse medicine's good, but... Go back. Oh, there we go. Carrots. I think I have enough. I um, time for you to leave yet, or? Okay, yeah, we're out of here. I need stuff for my horns. I ain't really got much money. I'm good, girl. Bro, you are ashy. Who's this then? Are you gonna find me? Yeah. Come on in. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. What the heck is she doing now? You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing. Girl, put the plate down, please. That's bothering me. I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. <laughs> Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Her horse looks like a strawberry. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. She's literally got like a pink horse. Oh, excuse me. That new horse. Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but. That's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know mm. who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You or want to talk about it well maybe but charles smith we found charles smith charles he's alive yeah he's doing okay he was prize fighting in saint denis weren't seeming too well he took everything real hard but i think life on the plains is gonna be good for him i always liked charles you send him my best. 
I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. I respect that. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. No. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. Yep, I agree. We was fools to follow him. I agree. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. I don't think we do. I don't think we find him in this game. I think we find him in the next game. I don't remember though. It might be time to play that game again, guys. Probably not right after this game, but maybe a couple months from now, I'd play it. And just so my memories of this game aren't like completely gone. But I'll probably be in the middle of my second playthrough by then. They'll be down there. So James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. Right. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. Actually, I haven't been. I have not done a single bounty as John. Other than these missions. The but I've seen them on it's the map. A view, all right. That's a nice view. Is it that camp down there? Come on. Oh my god. This is the same place where Bonnie McFarland's uh, ranch is in the next game. And then you go around here and it wraps around. Oh my God, I know that armadillo. <laughs> Ain't no way. The nostalgia. Wow. Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. They'll be there. <laughs> the nostalgia. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just worked for him. Mm -hmm. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Bro, the that over there, it's Mexico. Bro, they have the map then. This is the Red Dead Redemption 1 map. So we could get a remake. Easy. Cake. Cakewalk. It's here. They'll be coming through here. That's really cool because a lot of Rockstar games, like the GTA games, you never really go back to like the the old islands like in the same game. Well, I take that back. There might have been like Whoa. a side game where you did. I haven't played all the GTA games. Follow and keep an eye on them. Okay. Yeah. Stay back from the 
bitch. Bro, I remember. I think one of the first missions you, you go down here and kill some people. Here. What are you doing, huh? You, you talking to me or Langton? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Yeah, I see. I see the... The little ramp to come back up. Oh my god, I died so many times here. In the online, God, the memories. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping, and that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. Yeah, what are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men? And you work alone. I got you. You're worth ten of them. That's true. Great. All right. So what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity. But uh, it's your call. All right. Let's sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. Girl, where are we going? We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Eyes, blow us. Let's get closer. Oh, I still got the machete. I missed that first one though. Ooh. Damn, squeaky bridges might be the death of us. Come on. Oh man. Oh, he didn't die? Oh, he's dead now. Where's this guy? Ooh, Sadie, I need something. I need a quick pick me up. Good job. I see, I see, I see. Dang, girl. Move quick. What's the reason? Oh, dude, they're everywhere. This might have been a really bad idea. lost her hat. Ah, he went down. Oh, I still got him. 
Or no, no, I didn't. I know he is now. Somebody's running. Bro, seeing this like remade in this engine is so amazing. Why am I not using the repeater? Come on. We defend this spot. I don't know how much more we can take. We gotta get this. Come before they move in. Got lights? Hot round. Shit! They're coming at us from all over. What? He dead? Oop. I think we got a window to get out of here. We need our horses. I know that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Look at him here, dead. Hell, that's what you get for robbing me, Langton. Let's get Finley. Get him out of here. Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Oh, really? Kinley's dead, but he don't matter much to me. We're paid anyway. Let's go, let's go! Down the I think I shot him by accident. That was not a good look. Then I think we might be free of them. Ride for it. Dear Lord, did you see that? That guy got launched like a rocket off his horse. That was insane. That is not what you want to happen to you ever. <laughs> that is frightening. That is very scary. Are you going to speak? I don't know. There's really much to say. You After ain't that, soft in these years, have you? Do I seem soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead. His men. You ain't getting robbed no more. So listen, John. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is, I might be more cut out for this work than ranching or having a family. Mm. Maybe killing's all I'm good for, too. That ain't the truth, John. You're going to be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, Just passing through. You got to pay for it is all. I don't know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. Yeah, that's what the drink is for. Or fishing or anything you're strong enough to handle it i hope i am sometimes in the past that ain't always been the case
coming up on the jailhouse. Let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Ay, Dios mío! Whoa, damn it! Dios mío! Bring him and put him on a bed. Sheriff can call the Undertaker if he wants to. What a girl. We brought in become. Shane Finley. Well, what's left of him? I cannot find my mule. He's been looking for more company. You turning yourself in? Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. He's Probably gonna die anyway. Back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh... I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Be well, John. Yeah, retired. 150 bucks? That's pretty good. Okay, let's head on over to this area here. Oh, wait, we got to go in here. How do I get in there? Oh, right here. Let's see what's happening. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some... Dumb old coot, I know. He's telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? Oh, he's got the red Which book, too. Is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory built home. It's that easy. Nice. nice to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If this skin is about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. I know. Devin, Trust me, I've seen. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. 
I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. Nah, no. of course not. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Yeah, sure. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. So, what were you saying? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood. What's this guy talking wood? about? What is this rant? The kids, the bed. I'm so confused. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. <laughs> Am I finally going to meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to work oh with the hammer. Guess the figures they'd still be making them. I remember this area. She speaks Manil's nose tools. Not by name. Knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. But visually. The spot just up ahead. Okay. Bro, I used to get mauled by bears all the time. And bears in the original game, it's a one hit kill, bro. There's no escaping. There's no breaking free. It was a one hit swipe and you're dead. There'd be bears all over up here. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. All right. I should probably eat. Let me do the talking. Okay. Uh, there he is, working away. Is he weird? <laughs> Nails. Nails, it's me. It's Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best, best Smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste. Doesn't but seem that gold, bad. Then he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. Oh, never mind. I take that back. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. Let's keep adding it to my bill. All right then. This is what happens when you get a credit line. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Whoa. 
Everyone find some cover. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're in a whoa, look at all those guys. Keep your head down! Who are these people? It's the skinner! You okay? What's up, man? He's running at you! Look out! Damn push! Bucket head! The only bucket head I know is the one with the guitar. Where's that one guy at? Oh no. He's not looking so good. Right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. What? All right, you stay here. Guard the wagons. Charles, come on. Help! This was not a good idea. Let's go. Help me. Mr. Over there. Come on. Mr. Smith. Mr. Devin. Why are they taking him, though? For what reason? Get after him. Oh, he's still running. Oh, what the? Oh, we've walked into something. Get some cover. I'm already in cover right now. You mean they drew us in? We have to get past this. They climbed up in the trees. Shoot the ones up there first. Can't wait to see you dance, sweetheart. Hey, that sounds like Micah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I will finish you. Where did, that guy just came out of nowhere. Put him down, Skinners. That's not really what I wanted, but okay. Get him again. I need something for health, and I don't have it. Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. I have meat. Uh oh. More. We've come the right way. Anyone can kill you. We gotta clear these fellas. I'm here, doing my thing. Take him out. Take him out. The bushes. They're on top of us. Oh jeez. Ooh. Watch out. Getting shot at a lot. No, no, no. Oh, he I might die. I don't like the sound of that. Come on. Come on. They're covering the retreat. Who wants to die? Jeez. I need to move. Let's keep moving. We got to be gaining on them. I hope so. They're coming out of nowhere. Jeez, this is tough. No, no. Mr. White, we're coming. Lizzie, Mr. Wayne, we're right here. Please, God, no. You lost this is a predicament. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd you come from? You lost something? You want it back? Keep going. Where's Wayne? I have no idea. That's for my dead eye. It's too quiet. I'm kind of scared. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! What? It said return to Charles, but... I'm trying to walk over here. I don't want to just walk in the middle of the bushes and trees. Charles, I found the tools. That's a trap. Now where's Mr. <gasps> oh, Shh. 
shit. All right. Oh Jesus. man, that's terrible. We gotta move fast. Come on. He was just talking about his wife and kids. Let's go. Back to the road. Ah. That's horrible. God damn it. A few minutes ago he was chewing my ear off. Right. He, what he was getting into. Did he? Skitters. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he... is it... bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. Oh my god. Damn them! That's terrible. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. Well, we All still right. got our tools Let's get out and our wood. Oh my lord! What they do to him? Come on, we gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to Beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children ended up like Wayne or worse. Damn. Dang. We should move. Help. Uncle. 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 I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. A lot of them. This is done. I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. They said uncle was armed to his teeth, though. He just had that one rifle. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Morning, John. Morning. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> A new Jerusalem? But I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why, you use what you've got. 
which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Mm. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. <laughs> get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. But he's got lumbago. Oh, just what we needed. A montage. No way this is happening right now. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather, we're together. Oh, shirtless John. Just what we needed. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we work so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter any weather. <laughs> This man, uncle. Look at that house, though. I think that's everything. All righty then. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My 
Darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. Mm. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. He is. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Imagine buying a plot of land, building a house in like a couple of months, That's pretty wild. Look at that. You could still do that in like Texas. <laughs> oh, that beard is back. Uncle, I thought you was where the hell? Where'd Uncle go? A new Jerusalem. Isn't this just lovely? What's Charles doing? You see anything we should be worried about? Skinners. No. Seems quiet. Good. Maybe that was all of them. I would hope. Oh, check this out. It's looking kind of nice in here. Not too shabby. Okay, okay. This is how I remember it. I don't know what that room is. You're a good filly. All right, we're out. Oh, uncle's up there. That's not too far away. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. <laughs> that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. <laughs> we don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Well, you, you do build it. Then I never was that fast. I mean, it is pre-cut, but you do have to build build it though. Got to put the wood. 
together. In the black water. Let's go. Oh. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. <laughs> Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on oh. my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. It's a nice house, though. What do you mean? Nice pre-cut house. Be a true American. You gotta own a home. This is him. Put all your <laughs> and be at least eighty thousand dollars in debt. And if you got a home, maybe three hundred thousand plus in debt. And if you know what I mean. We? How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? Emily. We need a barn. He called me Martin now, Emily. Too. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Uh, here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. <laughs> now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans? Some of them, but some is Californios. And some are Californios. Mexicans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. 
Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I Man, I shot him, but heard, well, didn't all register. All kinds of things they do to men, unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> It's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. <laughs> oh, that's what I am now. An employee. An employee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what the bank says. Then, I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. I'm glad she's my employer. This is Painted Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. You know what? Let me get... Yes, sir. Y'all know I can't go anywhere without my shotgun. My baby. Oh, Cortez! We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's him. Uh, I found him. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. What? No way. Yeah. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Just doing an honest man's work, apparently. And you know what that means? Some bounty. Oh, she said Rhodes was different. We messed Rhodes up. Oh, salute to this place still my boy Sean. Hit your horse up here. Oh. It don't seem that different. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Sure. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. That's it. At least a thousand. Mr. Sheriff. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. 
Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> His boys are gonna roll up, aren't they? As in Ramon's boys, not the sheriff. Uh oh. Thomas, Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Let's do it. Shotgun time, baby. Cortez. Oh, it's on its tail. Come on. Let's run these cowards out of town. Shot, kill that bastard. Bastard. He's gonna hide. He sure is. I don't know what he was doing. Keep going. They're running Whoa, what the heck was that? Come on! Dynamite? The jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart! He's gone! He's gone! Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. I love her braided ponytail. This cute. All right. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stolen <laughs> off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but... Clearly, he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? No. Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. 
I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. Yeah, think about actually thinking. This is high enough. You got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. I wonder how much John paid for that house. For Beecher's Hope. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Her being a bounty hunter really does make sense, though. I'm not okay. surprised that oh. this is happening. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Easy. Whoa. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. <laughs> me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. All right then, Sadie. <laughs> we'll do just that. Hey! Damn it, Sadie. Oh, they're shooting at me. God. Oh, now you want me to come down? This Are rifle today. They're still alive, ain't hey. Let's see what we can do about that. I'm covering. That trouble went away. What the heck? Oh, there's a lot of guys. Shoot the bastard! You got him? Uh oh. Things ain't looking good, Sadie. I need some cover. Oh crap. Stay with me. Drop it. Let's go. Next. Like the side there. Tear yours. None of those hit him. Nice. You want me to snipe them? Cortez! Cortez! Damn it, he's dead! 
Okay. Okay. I thought she wanted me to kill him. Oops. Okay, I wish she would stop yelling at me. Most annoying character. There he is. Go on and get the bastard. There he is. In the boat. We got to clear that beach. He's rowing out of here. Drop it. I hear you. Cortez! Cortez! You ain't getting away from him. Okay, girl. Put your gun on the boat. Make him turn around. Much as you want to. Don't kill him. You want to die right now, Cortez? <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. True. So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're going to get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there! <laughs> I said, get out of there! He's yeah. definitely gonna do something. Oh, you gave up easy a long time ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down mouth! Oh! I know that hurt. They keep coming, all right. Ramon's still alive. You want it? You're gonna have to come over here and get him. Any more? Are we done? We might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. Let me tell you. Stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Packing light, I say. Okay, let's go. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? <laughs> you are a dead woman. And you are a dead woman. So the Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. <laughs> I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, Facts. I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find. Why are you sounding like an evil I villain? Enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Morning, fellas. We're back in roads. It's nice in here. Here we are. Back again. Looks like. Whoa. So 
Sir, good morning. Easy. Christ! Hello? Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <clears throat> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this job. He's not making it. And we're not getting paid. For me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. Yeah, you sure. Say so. See you around, partner. Yeah, I think he's definitely a character that you see in the first game. Seems like it. So am I not going to get paid? Is my house going to get taken from me? Am I going to get foreclosed on? No, I don't think so. I don't even think I have gun oil or anything, bro. What's uncle doing in the barn? Oh, he's outside. But I mean, the barn is up. The pre-cut barn. Was your holiday. I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Dang, Charles whipped it up. A little house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank That's crazy. You. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Like in a day, too? Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands. Yay, we're dancing. When horn and hounds the forest rends his pack, the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest Friend his packs, the huntsman cheers as loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come, bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What the heck is going on here? Spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea? We spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. Lives. And then my boys hoist sail for oh. more thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about it, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah. I've never been that drunk before. That's crazy. John! Get uh, out here. uh oh. Uncle's gone! <gasps> What? He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. How do you know? Think? Oh. Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Uh oh. <clears throat> Let's go. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. This isn't good. It's like we forgot about him. We should have been ready. It. Didn't mean to do that. There's nothing we can do 
Except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. Yeah, but my thing is, like, we've seen what these guys do. Is he still alive? John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? Oh, we'll make man. We'll call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Did you hear something? Oh. Get that horse under control, John. Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Stay. Okay. Stay. To the trees. Come on. This is not good. After they just had so much fun too. Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one, I'll take the other. Wait, what? Get down. Move. Did you just miss your shot? He whiffed it. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. I feel like it wasn't supposed to. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Let him go. Easy. Easy. Hold it. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. Uh-oh. This is no he good. Was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Maybe. This is not good. I don't like this at all. I'm preparing for the worst. <gasps> you hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Oh my god. Stay with him. These guys are horrible. Oh. 
He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. He goes into camp. He'll all be looking this way. Okay. Let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. He wants me to go up there. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Oh. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Charles, behind you! No, 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 no! <gasps> Shoot him, John. Shoot him, John! Got him! Oh. All right, gents! The surprise is over! We're here for you! All of you! They're coming in! Oh, jeez. Come on! I'm getting lit up like a Christmas tree. Uncle's not looking so good. He's getting cooked. Legitimately. Oh, those burns. Oh, my God. It looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Uh oh. They're coming. They're here. Got him. Because here come the rest of them. Quick. There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. Down that gully. Where are you dying, sucker? Oh, damn. Up on the lawn. You're going this way? Where they all are? Now, the right! Got one! Look him. after Uncle! Did the trick. Check the sides! Oh, man. Whatever! Protect the old man! It's our last shot! The Rangers don't leave here! Oh. Hold on to me. We're not clear! You move! Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't feel right. No. I got this. I can't get him. Now I got him. Get me out of here. I can't control these fellas. Oh, stay behind me. We are not good. We started shooting again. He said they're good. I'll deal with this. I think we're clear. Come on. Get him on your horse. Come on, old man. Move. We are not clear. That horse is so in the way. Get up there. We're taking you out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. 
Oh, they're behind us. There's a lot of these guys. Hold on. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. 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 Let's get out of these woods. I'm getting. Ah, I can't. I can't hit my back. We're not talking about Lumbago anymore. Stop us. Ah, nice. Don't let me fall, please. Oh. We're out. We ain't out till we're home. Right hard. Oh man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. Man. It's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. I don't feel good. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I'm feeling real weird. Does it look okay? Mm. No. Uh, Uncle. Uncle. Hey. We're here. Alright. Let's get you down. Let me see. I got you. I got you. Come on. Let's get him out of here. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. How many of those skinners are there? We've killed so many. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I, I hope. So. Yeah, I'm saying the same thing. I really do. If she ever comes back. And if she does, you might need to escort her here because the road here ain't safe. That's for sure. Did he get some sheep? She came back. What the hell? Let's go eventually. They walked here? How'd they get here? You. You're. <laughs> Aw. I. You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Give him some time. He'll warm up. He's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's they got a puppy. And angry, so I reminded us of you. That's a good that's idea. Right. They Joe? need a dog. Yes. I guess. Come on! 
That's a big house. Enjoy it. They don't know the trials and tribulations we had to go through for this place. Okay. Well, with that being said, I'm going to end it here. This was a very long episode, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Have an amazing day. It just gets better, guys. Hopefully the next video will be the end of the game. We'll just complete it, be done with it. I don't know how many more hours we got left, but I'm... I'm guessing probably maybe like four or five more, if that. We'll see. I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.